Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Bowtie Business Spotlight. I'm Paul Bauer. I'm a realtor in the Lincoln and Omaha area, and with me today is Michael Murphy. He is the director of marketing for The Loft, and the parent company of that is Lee Douglas Design. How are you today, Michael? I'm doing fantastic, Paul. Thank you so much for having us. Yes, no problem whatsoever. So we'll just dive right into it. So Great. when it comes to yourself and the loft and even the uh, designs, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and the business. Oh, sure. Well, I started about two years ago with Lee Douglas. They had just opened the loft up. And the way the loft came about is Lee Douglas Interiors is a full service um, residential commercial hospitality um, company that's in Lincoln and in Omaha. We service um, clients all over the world. And as they were building out Lee Douglas, they found there was an opportunity for home gifts and decor um, that was kind of missing out in the market, especially in our little markets. Um, and especially in our business ourselves. So we would go in and redo these homes, but not necessarily have the entire um, package, if you will, the finishing touches. So um, Laura Lee, who owns the company, Laura Lee Lessowing, owns Lee Douglas in the loft. She saw this opportunity and created um, this little home, which is on 48th and Pioneers down in Lincoln, right near the Union College area. This house came up for sale and she bought it. Um, redid it in six weeks and it became wow. our home base, our flagship store down in Lincoln. Yeah, and it, it is, people should honestly um, go look at it in person because the photos do not do justice of it because we do. it is, Thank it's you. an old centennial style home yep. and they kept all of the ambience of it as well. And so when you walk in, it's like you're walking into this pristine, almost like historically kept uh, home because there's homes like that all over Lincoln that uh, they have plaques on them. So if you were to even buy one of those places to live in, you can't change some of them. And that's what this is kind of like. But then all of a sudden you start seeing, oh, wait, I can buy that piece. I can buy that piece. So it's like, Absolutely. oh, OK. <laughs> each each room has a theme. So like we, you come in we have the gathering room where you kind of meet and greet people. We have the dining room and the dining room is all set up with the dining room table and a whole tablescape and the kitchen and the kitchen, we literally have a kitchen sink. <laughs> and then, um, people love our tea towels. We have so many different tea towels. They'll make you, they're, they're shirts to make you laugh. So throughout the whole house is like that. We have an upstairs as well that have, has jewelry and we even have a little naughty room um, that has some adult expletives and things like that. But we do have a sign that lets people know that if you're you're offended by words, please shop the other areas of our, our shop. Yeah, almost like a, a landmine, you know, sign like, you <laughs> <laughs> um, Well, you can always tell when someone goes in there because you hear the giggles. People start giggling. It's like, yeah. okay, we know where they are. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that'd probably be me. Uh, I, I am, I am a, I am a grown up, but I do have child tendencies here and there, and so giggling about things is always going to be one of those things. And <laughs> That's what keeps I, us young, right? <laughs> I know, I know. One of the first times we talked, I kind of mentioned this, and I still kind of feel it like that way. Is this is this is kind of like a mini version of IKEA, and why <laughs> why that why that makes why that hits home even more is. Just this past weekend uh, was our first year anniversary, my wife and I. Ah. And to celebrate that, we made a day trip to Ikea to, to pick up some <laughs> stuff. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So, but yeah. <laughs> but I feel more like, importantly, did you have the meatballs? Did you go to Oh their... my gosh. Always. <laughs> always. And it's it's hilarious you mentioned that because my wife just doesn't get it. She's, she's not a huge meatball fan. Um, huh? But I grew up with part of my history uh, was Czech and um, obviously meatballs, you know, and sauerkraut and stuff like that's huge. And so Swedish meatballs is something we used to have uh, on my mom's side for Christmas Eve, like almost every year. So like it holds an even bigger spot in my heart just because of that history and everything. But we did have, we did get uh, some meatballs to go and there you go. Uh, it, she she's warming up to the idea and I, I think it's yeah. gonna, unfortunately I think it might be an expensive like hey let's go to Ikea and she's like oh cool yeah let's go to Ikea no no no, no just for the meatballs just for the meatballs. I'm waiting for them to like put in a drive through oh man yeah that, that would be that'd be trouble for a lot of people so you have to go, yeah 
Yeah, definitely. So when it comes to yourself, you know, you kind of explained a little bit about the loft, its upbringing and everything. What brought you uh, to Lee Douglas and the loft? Oh, wow. Um, That's a great question. So I actually was living in Los Angeles for over two decades, for almost 25 years, actually. And my partner and I were just tired of the commute, tired of Los Angeles. So um, he's from um, a little town called El- Elvian. Um, and so we came back to, the, to Nebraska and made our roots here now. And um, I took a little time off between jobs. And then of course you have to start looking for something because um, I get very, I can't just stay at home and be bored. I have to have something going on. And um, my background is interior design and marketing. And I was looking around and reached out to Lee Douglas and went in and met Laura Lee and we sat down and I don't know how long we talked, a long time, (laughs) a very natural conversation. And I ended up, um, she actually was um, interviewing me to be one of the interior designers. Okay. But we kind of, our our conversations went in so many different ways. Um, And I thought, you know, I think I could actually offer more than just the interior design aspect. I could offer the marketing aspect. And so that's two years ago now. Awesome. Yeah. That, it sounds like it sounds like you have that that Nebraska niche where it's like there's so many creative people here. It's just that, you know, uh-huh. finding, you know, where to you utilize it best. And I mean this, you know, it sounds like it's, you know, been a great opportunity. And I know they're a very well known place, not just in Lincoln and Omaha, but you know, Midwest and everything too. And they're they're very highly spoken of. So it, it makes sense that you were in that area in LA, which is obviously, you know, most people would say top of the top and you've kind of made your way to a top of the top in this area. So oh, we're, we're still Nebraska. considered a part of the Prairie Valley, you know, so at least there's the, some type the, of valley. Yeah. And the Silicon Valley. No, what is it? Um, prairie. It's Prairie oh. Valley. Yeah. Prairie Valley. Okay. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So that's what it's considered. So yeah, we've topped the list for a lot, not the top of the top, but the Midwest area, like uh, Lincoln, Omaha, Kansas City, uh, Mm -hmm. per capita have like an insane amount of like Fortune 500 because obviously it's a little bit less expensive than (laughs) Silicon Valley and whatnot and the life that There's just as, I'm sorry, there's just as much talent and interest and things to do. Um, Sometimes you just have to um, seek them out a little bit, especially now with what's going on in the world. But there's um, great artwork and great museums and great theater and great places, just amazing places and localized places to shop, which are amazing. Yeah. So what Michael's going to do is share his screen and go through his website. So Paul, thanks so much for allowing us the opportunity to share our website with you and your viewers. So this is the loft by LDI.com. This is our website. Um, So we have a couple of different things. We have like two different menus. The reason we have two different menus is because it kind of allows us to have some things up here that are very easy, easily accessed for user experience. So we have about us. You can learn more about that. We have a little video tour. So if you want to see a little shop, the, the tour of the shop in Lincoln, you can tour that. It also has like all the e-commerce aspects. You have your account, checkout, cart, and then we have a link over to our parent sh- shop called um, LeeDouglas.com or Lee Douglas Interiors, which is LeeDouglas.com. <laughs> um, we have it categorized by a couple of different ways, not only up here in our top navigation with new arrivals, dinnerware, bath, bar, decor, accessories, novelty. Novelty um, is some of those adult items that we talked about earlier. Um, So you do have to click a disclaimer in order to go into that aspect. We just ask people to be over 18 years old because there are some products that have some expletives on there that might offend some people. Then we have some kids and pets area and stationery. But then what we've done also is down here, we've repeated those buckets with some images. So if you're more literal, you can go directly up here and utilize the the top nav. Or if you're a more visual person like me, we've created it down below so you can click through all the way down through there as well. There's the tour we talked about. And then of course, we'd love for people to consider following us on social media. Our handle is at the loft by LDI. So um, something else, which is kind of a unique feature for our website is we have weekly photographs that we upload from both locations, from Omaha and down in Lincoln. 
And I was trying to click there. It takes a second sometimes. You can go scroll down just a little bit. And then there's the two different locations. And here is the link and location. And you can just pop it up. And you can just kind of scroll right through them. And then obviously, if you see something you like, you can just call us or you can direct message us on social media. We're happy to answer any questions. And then the same thing over here for the loft up here in Omaha. There's the video we talked about. And then we have a great area that I enjoy a lot. It's called our new arrivals. Products coming in weekly. So we try to get them up on our site as fast as possible. It just gives you a little look of what's going on. Obviously, we're working on Easter, Mother's Day is coming up, Father's Day is coming up. So we have a lot of new products arriving. We also have alternative views. So you can see the products in a variety of different views. And we have this cute little button called Quick View. So if you don't want to take the time, or maybe you're at work, or maybe you're on your mobile phone, and you don't want to go all the way through the site, you can just click on here, and it will pull some of the information up a little bit more quickly than having to go through the whole site. And you can still shop here. You can add it to your cart. The only thing you can't do here, which you can do on a product page, let's see if we can go to this product here the small promises, is we have this fun thing called add to wish list. If you put that little heart there, it adds the product to a wish list. And then what you can do is you can browse your wish list. You can create this whole wish list, which is really fun. And then you can add products to it as many as you like. And then we give you a URL down here that you can copy and paste into any email, or you can even email it directly from this page and share it with family and friends, or say you're looking for a colleague's birthday or something, you can create a wish list and share it with all of your other colleagues. Or um, Paul, you're a realtor, you could create a wish list just for closing gifts if you want, because we have a great realtor program at the loft as well. Um, so I think that's kind of a nifty little tool. Um, so there's lots of different things throughout the website. We add products as quickly as we possibly can. We do it on a weekly basis. Last week, for example, we added 30 new products and we're just constantly building it out the best we can. We do all of the, all of the photography, all the work in-house. So it does take us a little time to get things up. So sometimes you'll see it faster in the shop than you will online, but we're getting there. And uh, it's, as soon as it, we are able, obviously, to have more revenue coming in, like most people, we'll add more resources towards all of this. But that's kind of our little website there. You said that the majority of the things are done in-house, which mm -hmm. I think just kind of speaks to the quality of, you know, the products that you bring in, um, because how they're shown, not only in shop, but online as well, even though it takes a little bit longer, it's shown in the best, no pun intended, light possible. And I think it really speaks to as well, what you kind of capture is, it's not something you'd see on a massive, you know, website that's worldwide, even though you guys can be, it really is Lincoln and Omaha, you know, kind of Nebraska esh, uh, really kind of hits home in a lot of different areas. And we do, I should show, should, should have shared some of that, but we do have some localized product within our website. Um, some local bags that you can buy, tote bags. Um, there's some 402 tumbler glasses, some drinkware, um, Lincoln and Omaha tumblers even. Um, so we do have localized products within our website as well, which is very important to us and something we're building out, especially within our jewelry catalog um, category. We're working with local artisans, um, Lori Paulson is one of the localized. Yeah. And then another person, is, her name is Bobby. Um, and Bobby, don't mess, um, I'm not gonna mess Bobby's last name up, I'm sorry. Bobby, um, Luke, Luko, Lukro, L-U-K-O-W. I'm looking down so I can spell it correctly. So Bobby, I'm sorry, but we are mentioning you anyway. <laughs> she has some beautiful um, cuffs that she makes out of leather and um, some amazing metals and, um, and geodes. Gotcha. Yeah. And you, you said L U K O W. I'm L U K O W. Yes. Because I, I know a I know I know a couple people with that last name, and they pronounce it Lukau. Okay, Lukau. Okay, Bobby so, Lukau. So it's probably one of those things where 
if you know somebody with a Czech last name, it's pronounced, you know, so many different ways. So if what you said probably is, is accurate, what I said probably is accurate. And it, <laughs> it's probably just where you talk to them and at one, at what area in the United States it really is. Mm -hmm. So yep. when it comes to the loft, yeah. are there places that you're partnered with? Uh, you know, are you uh, sponsoring with people? How does that work? Yeah, absolutely. We're lo always looking for um, localized vendors. If somebody's out, out there and has a localized product, please reach out to us. To us. You can just email us at theloft at leedouglas.com, theloft at leedouglas.com, or you can send me an email directly at michael at leedouglas.com. Um, we're always looking for localized companies to work with. Obviously, if you wholesale it, that that's, works best for us, obviously, because we're a retailer. Um, but we're also doing specials with um, a company called A Local Collective, which is primarily up here in Omaha, but they, I don't know if they've, they're all over Nebraska, mm -hmm. but some of the pop-ups that we've done recently have been up here in Omaha. So it's a great group of people, um, women-owned businesses primarily, but they're expanding and they're really broadening their reach throughout Nebraska, which is very, very exciting. So we're, we're very honored that they have asked us to participate in some of their activities. Yeah, and I feel that it really helps when it's kind of a conglomeration. You know, it's not just one person or one place, it's multiple. So you can yes. kind of have that reaching arm, you know, stretch even more. So mm -hmm. when it comes to this year with the loft or just, you know, Lincoln in general um, mm -hmm. or Nebraska in general, I should say, yeah. what, you know, main thing or a couple things are you looking for, looking forward to? Well, um, we tested out some classes during the holidays. Um, we did some how-to classes, how to decorate your mantle, how to do outside pots, and we're really excited about bringing those back perhaps this summer um, when, so when we feel a little bit safer, we can expand it because so many people, we had an overwhelming um, amount of people interested in wanting to do them. So we're hoping to bring those back. Um, because we opened up in Omaha, we expanded in Omaha last year, right before COVID hit. So we have our Lee Douglas showroom, but within that we have the loft, um, up here as well. So that we've only been, the loft's only been in Omaha for about a year now. So we're looking forward to hopefully in August having a big grand opening. Um, so we'll have to do something special in both locations when we're doing that as well. So a lot going on, but we're very excited about being able to do things and see people in person again, obviously. We're obviously open to the public now, um, and we're taking caution, the best CDC regulations we can do. Yeah, and I think that's been kind of the resounding, um, the resounding similar thing that I've been hearing with, you know, events. And I think that just goes back to Lincoln and Omaha. There's so many different pockets of places that put on events. And it goes back to what you were saying earlier of there's so many different things and different venues. When it comes time to having those events go back, I think it's just going to be an explosion of not just the old, but the newest way. I think one thing that this has allowed some places to do that haven't been hurt a ton is to almost take this time to reinvent themselves. So when it comes time to do these new things or events or whatnot, it's going to be even better. Like you said, yep. you were able to test these different things and then, you know, maybe during COVID, you know, really work. How can we make this better? So when it comes time, it's like, okay, we're ready to rock and roll. Yeah. During COVID is when we launched our website. We just launched our website less than a year ago. Um, so that during some of that, I want to say slower times and some of the downtime, we thought, okay, this is the time we need to like make a commitment and launch. So we jumped in. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, we're learning something new. We're continuously learning something new every day. Um, but yeah, we've learned a lot in the past year, which has been yeah. fantastic. I think, I think that's that creative mind that you're talking about how it can't sit still for very long. So it's just like, why not just, you know, come up with some, you know, massive things that we can roll out that is just always going to take my time up. Yep. <laughs> Well, Michael, yes. I, I definitely appreciate you being on here. Uh, it's been great to have you. And um, hopefully, you know, I can make it out to both stores here and uh, give, so. give my support. Thank you so much, Paul. This has been a pleasure. We appreciate your support. We love what you're doing and, and anything we can do to support you and, and everybody that's participating with you, we're in.
So, so count us in for whatever it is. <laughs> I do appreciate that. Thank you. Of course.